it's been a long while, but I am back with a new video just for Inktober. If you're new to the channel, hello! I'm Cryptic Ink, and I'm going to draw and talk and do the artist YouTube thing. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back! It's been a while. I'm happy to be posting a video today, and especially for this month, which is one of my favorite drawing challenges. These are the materials I'll be using on today's ink drawing. We have some render no-show through paper, an old bottle of Higgins Black India ink, two gray Copic markers, one warm, one cool, a black Tombow dual brush pen, also used, two micron pen liners that I found in an old crayon box of mine, a calligraphy pen, and finally we have my trusty white gel pen. They are my absolute favorite and I have a ton of them just in case I run out. That's it for art supplies today. I didn't go out and buy much this year because I found I already had a ton of stuff just lying around. The render paper is nude though and I guess I'll talk about that in a bit. So let's get drawing. So I actually finished this drawing yesterday. I'm just finishing editing the video this morning so you might actually get two videos today. We'll see. I made my own list of prompts for Inktober this year. I picked out favorites from other lists and made up some of my own. And yesterday's prompt was Hell Beetles. I don't know what it is, but lately I'm still interested in drawing weird bugs, so this is what I went with for day one. I end up feeling like I did too much by the end of the drawing, but I still kind of like it. I know that inking every day means I'll get a lot of practice in, so hopefully the next one comes out better. Since October is typically a spooky month, which is my favorite time of year, everything I'm drawing I want to look kind of creepy or weird or whatever. I haven't done a lot of inking at all since I've been in school, so I'm a little rusty using this dip pen, which is what I started with. I'm not even sure I'm holding it right, but it felt right, so I went with it and decided to Google techniques later. <laughs> If you're like me, month-long challenges can seem pretty daunting. My attitude this time around is to just go with the flow and promise myself to have fun with it every single day. A challenge like Inktober to me feels like an opportunity to stretch my drawing legs and to try various ways of doing the same thing, which is inking an illustration. I don't have a lot of tips to share for the challenge though, other than to have fun, honestly. I'll be talking a lot about art school in the videos to come since it has been taking up my entire life for the past few years. And I only have one year left though, and then I'll get my bachelor's in animation. Woohoo! I'm pretty happy about that. Art school has kept me very busy. I am learning how to use After Effects and Maya and Cinema 4D. I've been making character designs and turnarounds and learning how to rig characters for animation. And a good bit of what I've been learning has also been self-taught, so it's not just homework keeping me busy, it's YouTube tutorials and plural site and forums and whatnot. In these upcoming classes that I'm going to be in, I get to take an illustration class, which I have been dying to take. And I can't wait to paint on those fancy Cintiq tablets for hours in a dark computer room every week. <laughs> and I know that might sound sarcastic, but I actually mean that. I cannot wait to paint on those things some more. I've been stockpiling all the stuff I've been working on, so I can't wait to share with you guys once I feel like I have enough material for a video. But all this is to say really that school has been the biggest reason why I haven't posted a video in what feels like forever. It feels awesome just to sit down and draw for a change, and even though my break will be over soon, I look forward to giving myself some time to work on things other than homework. So anyways, I do want to talk a little about my process with this first drawing. I feel like I used a little bit of everything I had because I'm trying to rediscover what my favorite tools are and which ones work best for me. I found that I really liked my calligraphy pen, and if I wasn't so nervous about using it, my results might have been better. 
I feel like a huge part of inking is confidence because when you think about it, obviously ink is a permanent medium. You can't really undo anything or erase an errant line. So if the confidence isn't there, I feel like hesitance shows in shaky or broken lines. And that's something I wanna work on. I'm also excited to try my Pilot Pocket Brush Pen, which still seem to be really popular and kind of artist's choice around here. I didn't use it in this drawing, but I will probably use it in a later one. I want to do more with ink washes because I've never really done much of that before. I'll probably need some kind of palette for that though once I make another trip to the art store. I think ink washes present some nice effects once you get the hang of it. I'm still not a hu super huge fan of microns though. I don't know, maybe I just need to spend more time with them and they'll grow on me. But one fairly new thing I'm trying is this render paper. And if you haven't heard of it, which I'm sure most of you have, it's this multimedia paper that doesn't bleed through. So even with Copic markers, the color doesn't show up on the other side. And it doesn't seem to take water very well though, so I'm curious to see what a proper ink wash will look like on this paper. Otherwise, I thought it would be perfect to try for Inktober. So, like I said, by the time I was done, I felt a little like I'd done too much to the drawing. I kind of regret using the Copic markers on the leaves at the end, to be honest, but oh well, you live and learn. It was a successful day of using ink on a drawing and that was the whole point. So I'm happy with myself. And that's the final product. I'm already geared up and ready to finish today's inked drawing, so be ready for some updates if you're following me on Instagram. So yeah. Okay guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you had some fun watching and good luck to those of you participating in this year's Inktober or Drawtober or Witchtober or whatever drawing challenge you've signed yourself up for this month. Happy sketching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.